after them. Jesse, run. Oh gosh, this isn't good. No, Lucas. Oh darn, go. No, no, I miss it. Okay, okay, I'm good. Ow, oh my face. Oh, no. <laughs> nice job, 10 out of 10. Okay, duck. Oh, the super slide. These guys haven't seen as much action as we have. We should be able to be able to, you know, like handle this right now. Ooh. Okay, we're losing them for now. Let's go for it. Come on now. I don't know if we made the right decision, but we had to do something. We had to go with somebody. I'd rather go with Petra than Ivor at this point. But maybe I shouldn't have. Like, Ivor's smart too. I don't know, it's so hard to decide. It's like you can never make a decision without regretting it at some point. So does Milo here have something for us? I'm not sure. But Milo does seem to be the like resident sneaky guy, so hopefully something good is happening here. here. Yes. Oh gosh. There's Hi. nowhere to hide in here. It's a dead end. Before I take you to any further, you must take an oath. I think they went this way. Oh gosh. You must swear to never reveal what I'm about to show you. What? Do you swear that? Uh, yeah, sure, whatever. Can we please get on with it? Oh, not quite an oath, but it'll have to do. <laughs> Philippe? Okay. Right well, this then. way. Okay, let's go. Then nobody must know. This is Build Club. <gasps> Ooh. I like Everything it. Everything you see before you was built from resources that my people have saved or uh, obtained. Wow, cool. Man, can't be easy to come by some of this stuff. Nice work. Wow, and so are you the leader of this little outfit? Yes, I suppose you could say that. You see, one day a long time ago, I was just a citizen of Sky City, like any other. I wanted to make a community garden, so I put in a petition for a dirt block, and mercy me, it was granted. But in my excitement and haste to build my garden, I accidentally dropped my new block, and it fell right over the edge. For my crime, I was tossed into the Founder's Dungeons. That's a shame. And I was in there for a very, very long time. Wait, you just dropped some dirt. What was the crime? The crime, Jesse, was the egregious wasting of resources. You see, in our world, when something falls over the edge, it is gone forever. But I have always believed in my heart that just because building is risky, it doesn't mean that no one should do it. If only I had known you were builders sooner, I would have helped you all escape when I first met you, rather than let your friends be taken. Well, you're but actually cooler than I thought. Yes. I would like to save Lucas and Ivor, I guess. Milo, our friends are in trouble. We have to help them. Yes, I know. Hey, I... Milo! Ah, hello, my friends. Bringing in outsiders? Seriously? Pretty hard to keep this a secret club if you just bring people in. Yeah, we have it hard enough as it is. Everyone, please! Yeah, it's hard enough without you bringing in a couple of randos. Randos? Guys, don't worry. We're builders just like you. Yeah, Jesse's right. Just chill out. We're the ones that built that bridge into town today. Dude! What? Milo, jeez! Milo, are you kidding me? The most wanted criminals in the whole city? We gotta turn them in before the guards break our door down. Well, no, let's not do that. Yeah. <laughs> I assure you, harboring them is worth the risk. They are the epitome of Build Club material. Builders, I'm not sure. Oh no, I don't think they like us. Perhaps a challenge? Hmm, this isn't good. All right then. If Milo says you're these amazing builders, prove it. Guess we'll have to. Yeah, build something. Now see here, this is all highly disrespectful to my guests. I'm the leader here. Hey, Milo said that you guys were gonna help us. And they will, I swear. Just please help me appease them. They're nervous. Okay. We don't know many recipes, so if you just show us something that they build where you come from, you're gonna be just fine, Jesse. Jesse, it took us many weeks to scrape together this inventory. Please use them for your build. Oh my! Oh, thanks. Oh geez, don't don't be chanting at me. I'm gonna get nervous. Oh boy. Um, iron box or crafting table? I have. Oh my gosh! I know what to do. Let's do it. Okay, yep, it knows exactly what I want to do. Anyone got something to take notes with? No. <laughs> Darn, I guess I'll just have to try to remember all this then. All right, all right, put that there. You guys know, right? You guys know. 
Getting nervous yet, Milo? <laughs> what? All right. No, of course not. And then well, boom, right here. Exactly oh before. boy. <laughs> boom. And look what we got. <laughs> Jesse, what is that thing? It's it's an iron golem. Is it is is it safe? Everyone, everyone, please, it's not as bad as it looks. <laughs> what that monster? It it wants to eat us. No, no, it won't hurt anyone. It's totally tame. It'll just chill out. It's a pretty cool one. I can understand why the guards are after you. I mean, that was awesome. Hooray! Right? I told you. Yeah, we're really <laughs> sorry. Wowzers. So sorry. <sighs> yeah. Sorry. We're sorry. Uh, I'm sorry. Awesome. Well, that's taken care of. Think you guys could help us get into the palace and save our friends now? Yeah, that would be great. Ah, yes, of course, of course. That is, after all, why you are here. I must say, though, after seeing you in action, your skills are even more impressive than I could have imagined. So impressive that I wonder if I could implore you for a tiny favor. What kind of favor? I help you get into the palace. You help me steal the Eversource for my people. Unlimited resources for everyone! I'm overwhelmed at the thought. I'm not sure. Uh... Okay, but my friends are in trouble in there. So for breaking into the palace, we're going to save them. This is an acceptable and noble arrangement. Rain. Good. Now, as for how to get into the palace, according to my informants, the founder keeps the Eversource behind a secret door located in her throne room. Dramatic. Every yeah. night, the founder leaves guards at every door, but there's a single window at the back of the palace that is left unguarded. It's an almost perfect point of entry, but it is far too high. <laughs> if we can find a way through that window, the Eversource would be practically within our grasp. Okay, so we'll just climb up. That doesn't seem too hard. You have not seen this wall. We have tried, but it is sheer steel blocks. No handholds. Means you guys need to start thinking like builders out there. We're gonna make a ladder. Building ladders? Craft a way in? If you could show us how to craft something that would reach the window, we could get this heist underway. All right, cool. All right, then let's get building a ladder. Now, I think I remember how to build a ladder. It should, I think it's just an H with sticks, and that should build a ladder. Now, hopefully, this gives us enough. We might need a little more. Oh, and there's a ladder. Cool. That <laughs> scene. <laughs> It seems so simple. You did it! Hooray! Amazing! Hooray! Hooray! <laughs> you are one of us, Jesse. We will never forget this day. I'm glad I could help. That's good. Everybody's happy now. Now let's go save our friends. Oh my. There's a mustache man up there. We're sneaking around. Oh, look at us go. Okay, friends, this should take us right into the throne room. Once inside, we will just need to find the secret entrance that the Founder supposedly uses. Isn't it exciting? On our way to changing everything! Hey, would you keep it down, Milo? We're sneaking in, remember? Sneaking. Right, right, right. My apologies. I'm just so excited. Actually, out in the field, applying ladders to a wall. Okay, you gotta be quiet, man. Jeez, we're in a scary spot here. But <laughs> I guess we did have enough ladders. Let's keep going then. All the way up here, and then we're good. Come on up. Don't fall, don't lose your balance, oh my. And we're in. Oh jeez, this is scary. Oh no. I hope we don't get caught, oh no. Oh boy. What did she say? Oh no. Guards, oh. don't hide. Oh, go back, go back, go back. Okay, the throne room was in here. Yeah, I know, I know. Why are you saying things to me that I already- Whoa! Oh, Jesse, Jesse, hi! Petra, boy am I glad to see you guys. Right back at ya. So glad you two were okay. What happened to you? We were in the dungeon, but we broke out. Yay! It's a good thing you guys are here. Aiden's going after the Eversource. Which we oh obviously my. can't abide. We're here to get it first. Fantastic. Hmm. That is what we are doing as well. Who, uh, who's this guy, by the way? He's the guy who I was broken. I assume he's cool, right? Why would you assume that? <laughs> oh, right. Milo Lucas. Lucas? Milo. Milo Ivor? Ivor Milo. He's a new friend. 
Great. I'm charmed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the Founder's secret entrance is supposed to be somewhere in this throne room. If it's in here, we'll find it. I mean, he knows more about this than anybody else, so obviously he's gonna be a good friend. So this is a blocked doorway. Over there we have a bookcase, and you know bookcases. I always have a bunch of secrets in them now, don't I? Let's check this out, because there's like a minecart leaving. Obviously there's something of value here. I'm getting here. a very door vibe from this. Yeah, what happened to it? Just need to make something to activate that redstone circuit again. There's gotta be something in here we can use. Hmm. Like a lever. If you can find one of those bad boys, we'll have that secret door open in a snap. Huh. Well, something there for sure. What does Lucas have to say about How's it? it looking? Still looking like it needs power. Don't worry, I'll find the answer. Okay, I believe in you. Aw, thank you. I appreciate it. Lucas is such a nice guy. All right, let's talk to uh, Milo and Ivor, too. Well, this is where we came in, right? You believe it? We got in. Yes, I'm very grateful to you for all of your help. Give yourself some credit, Milo. You've done Build Club proud. All right, what is out here? A tree? Did this world start as a survival island? Because look, the lava trick, and then the tree, maybe this is where everything started. Here's a crafting table too. We'll just get this. This like, must be where the founder crafts things for the people. Hmm, hopefully. And then here's a tree, can we knock it down? I get the feeling this is a special tree. Yes, the ground you're standing on is actually the original island that all of Sky City started from. That tree dropped the saplings that grew into every tree on the island. Wow. I may not agree with the Founder's methods, but even I must admit, that's an impressive feat. So I get it now. Wow, because that is pretty special. Back a few years ago when Minecraft was still new, a big thing came around called the Survival Island where you started on an island with only two things. You had like a bucket of water and a tree. But with all of that, you can make anything you needed if you knew what you were doing. Or something like that. Basically, that's a basic idea. And this is a cobblestone generator by combining lava and water. That is so cool. So this whole world was made as a survival island. It's now a huge ah, society. A cobblestone generator. Amazing! Lava and water. Placed exactly far enough that when they collide, it creates cobblestone. Genius! So if we needed some, we could just go and start picking that away. Can I grab it? How can you grab it? Oh, what, you're gonna punch it? Jeez, that would take you so much longer than it took there. But I guess you are like a Minecraft expert. Genius. All right, cool. Is, that's so cool. So, uh, uh, <laughs> close of a mile, uh, not mile, of Ivor. I did not need that, but hi, Ivor, how are you doing? If you're gonna put your face all up in my face, I might as well talk to you. It was wonderful. I've always wanted time behind bars to work on my poetry. That was sarcasm, in case you were curious. I, I noticed, don't worry. That's all you're gonna say, though? All right. All right, Definitely what is it? regal, not bad. Hmm, can I sit on it? I guess I could, but I don't I don't know if that's sort of wasting my time. Huh. <laughs> that's so weird. What are you doing? Huh? <laughs> Sorry. Just being a dork. Alright, let's keep looking around. I know that Petra is over here. How you doing, Petra? See anyone? Not yet, but the acoustics are funky in this place, so it's hard to tell when people are coming. We shouldn't hang around. Got it. Mm-hmm. Let's just keep moving then. We gotta be fast with this. Looks like we have a bookcase. A bookcase has to have something. We need a lever. So if we can find one in here, that'd be cool. Habits of the Enderman by Soren? Wow, how'd that get here? Wow. The rest are just inventory registries and legal information. Boring. I wonder if maybe this person was actually from our world. That'd be interesting. What's out here? Anything? Nothing. I can't even walk out there. So that's all I seen. Where is an, a, a potential lever now? Because I don't see anything else I can interact with, right? Well, I got a cobblestone. Oh, you know what, can I make get more cobblestone? I can't. But can I get anything from this tree? Can I be a jerk knock down the tree? No. You can't craft. Can I use this? No. Oh, whoa, 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 a sapling, a dead bush. Poor dead bush. Barely more than a bundle of sticks. Hmm. Like, maybe we can craft ourselves out of this situation. I just don't see anything else I can get or do around here. I don't know. Oh, wait, we can move back here. Oh, what's going on over here? Oh, wait, 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 what is this? 
Lever slot. Okay, well, I don't have a lever still, so not too much I can do here. If I had a lever, this would be the perfect spot for it. <laughs> I noticed. What is over here? Nothing? All right, this is odd and difficult because I don't know what to do now. All right, so now I can actually punch this. Hopefully no one will miss one dead bush. Oh. They might, you never know. Perfect. I think that should be everything I need to make a lever now. Hopefully. Let's go to the crafting okay, table. Let's do this. And let's go for it. Put this here, and then cobblestone, put that there. Ooh, and there you go, very cool. Ah, my old friend the lever. Fantastic, ah. I didn't know you were watching. My apologies. It is still just such a thrill to see someone so confident and sure in their building abilities. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Let's go up this way. Or, or, why is the controls like going a little crazy? I don't know. Let's go this way and we will uh, put the lever here. And hopefully that gets something done for us. Open the door. Whoa, whoa. Oh, geez. Is there enough mine cards for everybody? Oh, I guess there is. Oh no, where are we going though? This is it. Eversource, here we come. Okay. Now my theory is that the Eversource actually ran out a long time ago, and that's why we have to conserve our resources. Because if we had an Eversource, we would have to be, you know, have everything. So whoa, this is crazy. Going really fast. Whoa, okay, this is scary. What if this like leads off to like the ending abyss? Whoa! All right. We made it. Wow, look at all these chests. Yeah, and they're all labeled? Creeper, zombie, sheep, pigman, curious. But what does it mean? I think I know. Let's open it up and find out. Is it spawn eggs? It is. Huh. Eggs? The sign says sheep, not eggs. Might as well throw it and give it a shot? It'll spawn a sheep. Ready, set, throw! Ho ho! A sheep? Is... is that a monster? That is not so bad. It is fluffy. He doesn't know what a sheep is. The eggs all have creatures inside them. And they're all different colors. They must be, you know, color-coded what's in them. So she can just spawn things whenever she wants to. So this must be where the resources come from. Different monsters and creatures, different drops. Stay on your toes. We're close. Ah, I can't wait. This is odd. Let's take a look around. So I think there's still some creative mode stuff happening here. But you know, you can't get egg spawns on your own. So that's very peculiar. I'm not sure what it could be, but it's a bit scary. We got pigs. Pigman, sheep, blaze, spiders, slime, gas, pigman, again, zombies, something else there on the left? Oh my, whoa, what was that? Uh-oh, what was that? Ah, oh, it's King Chicken! What? Hello, Chicken King? Hi. Incredible! Uh, I am so confused. The Eversource? Is a chicken? Uh -huh. What? Yes, the spawn eggs. It's so simple. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. That's the Eversource? So the chicken lays the eggs and the eggs make monsters and the loot from the monsters made this place. Well, throw it in the mine cart and let's get out of here. We're still taking it, right? Uh -huh. The chicken that the entire city depends on? Are you sure that's a good idea? No, not really. What are you really. talking about? We need to bring it to the people. With it, we'll finally be free of the founder. Exactly. But that clucking thing is what we came for. Milo's right. The Eversource belongs to the people. What? I thought that was the whole point of this adventure. And we learned that it shouldn't have been. We're doing the right thing. Whoa. Whoa, what are you doing? Okay, what's going on? Oh, geez, we're being attacked. Uh-oh. Oh, no. She's a ninja. I knew it. I knew you were here to steal from me. <laughs> but no. Oh, you you were here too. Pain. Oh, she's too fast. Well, hang on a second. Let's talk about this, okay? I'm not sure there's anything to talk about. Well, you've never had the chance to talk to me. Founder, they're here to steal the Eversource. Oh, so are you. Classic order of the stone. 
You don't say. What? No! Don't believe that! Are you kidding me? You'll just want it for yourself! You just mm -hmm. expect me to believe a bunch of criminals? Oh, they're criminals from our world. You warned me that you were a pack of thieves. And here you are, prepared to make off with the one thing our city depends on to survive. Boy, when you put it like that, I almost feel bad. Yep. Afraid I'm going to be taking the chicken. It's mine now. What? See? This is outrageous. Aiden, don't do this. See, this is why you don't trust strangers. Somebody order eggs. Oh, come on. Watch out. Whoa. Ouch. That hurt. Punch him. Oh, the double wielding. Oh, no. She's falling. Okay, we got to save her. Oh, gosh. Come on. Go, go, go. Save her. Save her. Save her. No, the sheep. Oh, no. I've got Aiden. Oh, punch him. Oh, you get him, Lucas. All right, all right, save the founder, back up Lucas. No, wait, you said you got him, so I have to. Um, whoa, okay, okay, the game lagged out there. Come on, Lucas said that he got him, so I'm gonna trust him, he's a very capable guy. Thank you. Thank you. Oh boy, whoa, no! Oh no. No, save him, grab him! No! No! How dare you? You're pure evil, you're a killer. Oh my gosh, are we dead? Did we just die? Wow, just wow. Every time we continue on with this episode, it just gets crazier and crazier. And is Lucas going to be okay? Are we gonna be okay? Are we even alive anymore? Is our adventure going to end prematurely? I don't know, I guess we'll find out in the next part of Minecraft Story Mode Episode 5. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, share it with your friends and family, and of course, comment in the comment section below. If you watched this part of the video, make sure you comment Falling Zebra so I know you've watched the end of the video and that you're a Zebratastic viewer. But by the way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.